Well, we don't wear skimpy bikinis. Hell, it frightens me when I take my shirt off. There's definitely no one pregnant here. This is motor sailing for old dudes. We do live on a boat and we do cruise extensively along the Australian coast. Join us and visit some great destinations. Learn how to look after a boat and live off grid. It might even get you enthused to do the same thing. Hey, stay out there till you can't. We had a great night at Prudhoe Island and had a couple of visitors the next morning. Mother and baby just relaxing in the bay 50 metres from the boat. We had a great night here and want to spend another one, but we have to leave early in the morning and get through all of these ships. It's been really good. A little bit of swell got in this afternoon, but not really enough to worry us. And the wind's dropped off again now, and I think we're going to have a pleasant night. The wind's going around to the southeast tomorrow, and I think that's going to compromise this anchorage. So we're pretty well prepared to get up quite early. I'd say we'd be gone by seven and uh, that's if the wind doesn't chase us out before then but uh, we're ready to go anyway so uh, whenever we start to feel a bit of roll in here we'll leave otherwise we'll wait till daybreak and uh, and get on it then but it's been a pleasant stop here it's been a great little spot had whales this morning right behind the boat fantastic and uh, it's a shame there's not a little beach in here the beach is uh, just all rocks The change came in about three in the morning and we up anchored and headed out into all of the bulk carriers anchored off Hay Point. south a bit and uh, it's getting a little bit uncomfortable at Prudo. Not too bad, could have uh, ridden it out I suppose, but we've got a fair way to go, about 28 miles across the Mackay, so um, I decided to do a little bit of night travel just for a couple of hours this morning and we'll be there at about 9.30, uh, 10 o'clock uh, this morning, so that'll be good, give us another day in the marina virtually. Uh, all I've got to worry about out here are the ships and I'm not too worried about them because you can see them quite easily. I've got plenty of lights, they're all well lit up. They're all waiting to go into High Point, load up with coal. Um, I just keep an eye out and make sure there's none on the move and I can do that using AIS, radar or just by noticing if there's nav lights on. When they're anchored they're pretty well lit up. Uh, when they're moving they usually turn all their deck lights off and you'll see navigation lights. So AIS is a great help. Uh, we're seeing if anything's on the move, you'll see, uh, you'll see them moving quite easily. From Prudhoe to Mackay, they leave a bit of a gap through all the uh, anchored ships, and it's a pretty straight line. Uh, a couple of little um, islands you have to worry about as you leave Prudhoe, then it's a pretty easy run from there all the way to Mackay. So, um, we're on that line now, it's about uh, 295 degrees true, I think is the course you should steer, but um, yeah, I'm just set up um, 
on the plotter with the autopilot doing the job and I just sit back and monitor the radar and what's going on around me. Anyway, it'd be good to be in Mackay, um, a week in the marina and um, yeah, something a bit different. This is where AIS is good. You can see one ship there on the move. He's doing nine knots, so he's going to head up here to the shipping channel. I'll probably let him pass in front of me. I've got another ship right on my bows that I've got to just get around. Uh, he's right on my course, so. Um, you can see instantly though that this guy's on the move so all the rest are anchored and um, it's pretty handy stuff and there's my radar and you can see all of those ships are pretty well um, defined and this will be the one that's on the move at the moment I think The AIS gave me the ship's name, so I called him on the VHF and he told me to just maintain my course and he would uh, go around the front of me. We soon had the sugar sheds and silos at Mackay in sight. The fuel berth wasn't busy so we decided to take on diesel first. Well, we're in uh, Mackay Marina for a week, get a bit of shopping done wash the boat, do a few other things and then uh, we'll have enough supplies on board to get out to it Sundays for a month, we're hoping. Easily, I think. Yeah. Big shot. The clouds backlit by the moon made for an interesting sky on our first night. With all of our chores complete, it was time to head north again. That was Steve. Sorry? That was Steve going out. Was it? Yeah. Just then? Just then. Careful if you're coming in at night because um, there is a new seawall being built. I guess the stop scrolls getting into the marina. Good to 
be out of the marina after a week, but uh, it looks like there's a bit of crook weather still around and uh, a fair bit of rain. Well, we're out of the Mackay Marina and our destination is uh, the Newry Group. So uh, our first waypoint will be Slade Point and from there we'll head a little bit further west um, up towards the Newries. We've altered course slightly to the west and um, our next, once we're around Cape Hillsborough, uh, we've only got about 11 nautical mile to run from here. Seven nautical miles to the Newries from here. So what do you think, Mon? Good trip? Yeah, very good trip. I didn't realise we were early. It's been pretty pleasant, hasn't it? Sort of a bit of a wet start, but the sun's out now. It makes a lot of difference when there's a bit of sunshine out, doesn't it? It sure does. Yeah. yeah. It's a bit calmer than it was when we started out too. Yeah. Click the link on the top right hand side of the screen if you want the passage plan for this part of the trip. We navigate in through the outlying islands and anchor behind Outer Newry. This is the preferred anchorage in the area. one at the Newries. Um, I guess what we've got to do is work out whether we're going to stay here and ride out the 30 knots that's coming or whether we're going to go out to uh, one of the southern wet Sunday islands. Pretty comfy here, no swell getting in so uh, I think it might be a good spot but anyway I guess we will make that decision tomorrow. Have a bit of a look around before we go. It was either uh, staying here or going out to Thomas and I just noticed that uh, all the boats on IIS have left Thomas so I think that'd be pretty rolly there in this sort of wind. But here at um, the Newries, this anchorage behind uh, outer Newry is just really good. We don't even, we're not even really noticing the wind and uh, yeah, it's pretty good with a bit of sun out too. Make them on. Drop a chip biggie. You're joking, they can't be keto friendly. They certainly are. You're kidding. They certainly are. We head over to Newry Island to check out the old resort there. The well, Newries uh, were named in 1879 by Royal Navy Staff Commander E.P. Bedwell. He was undertaking coastal surveys. From 1930 to 34, Daniel Dewar grew coconuts and pineapples at Sunset Beach. 
He also had a licensed Dugon fishery selling oil for medical purposes. Parts of the island became National Park in 1938 and a succession of leaseholds was operated New Island Resort from 34 till 2001. Uh, the leasees were Fred Worcester, Colin and Ruth Brady and Wilhelm Litz. The Worcesters were here from 1935 to 56. They built the guest huts and had uh, Annette Callerman, uh, swimming star and performer of the early 1900s, staying here. Then in 1964 to 1977, Colin and Ruth Brady expanded the resort during their tenure. Along with son Stephen, they built the Beachcombers Bar, Brady's Cabins and a Rock Groin. Brady's also built an ingenious rail slipway system allowing visitors easy access to the resort at any tide. William Litz operated the resort from 1978 to 2001, after which the whole island reverted back to National Park. It's now maintained by the Parks and Wildlife Services with a bit of help from the New Island community-based volunteer group. A bit of history of um, New Island. Take a little bit of care where you're anchoring here because uh, it does come up out of very deep water to quite shoaly stuff um, in no time flat. So give yourself a little bit of um, margin off the beach. I think I'm probably just even a little bit too close where I am here. Night two at uh, the Newries, the wind's dropped out a bit. I think the weather's clearing for tomorrow, we hope. And we're uh, settling in to watch a bit of uh, a video. So much for forecasting a calm night. This wind's blowing up around 30 knots now, but uh, good anchorage here because there's no swell getting in, just a little bit of trot. So, uh, got um, an anchor alarm set and that hasn't tripped. After some wild weather, we get a chance to go ashore on Outer Newry and take a look at the island. The weather then abates and gives us a chance to head out to Thomas Island and the magnificent Southern Whitsunday Group. Hope you've enjoyed this video. See you next week dudes.